Despite training in the mid-1930s in Dresden, which was of course a hotbed of avant-gardism, Jentsch's style has always been considered uh, to be rather traditional and conservative. Um, due to the stifling social and artistic conditions though in, in Germany in the 1930s, Jentsch decided to immigrate to, to what was then German Southwest Africa in 1938. Uh, he arrived in Windhoek in that year, and he was, like so many artists before him, blown away by these incredible, far-reaching, alien landscapes, these incredible vistas that he was exposed to the, for the first time. Uh, he painted prolifically, almost immediately, um, after his arrival in, in, in Southwest Africa. This work is from that period. It's from 1940. It is Farm Schenksverde in the Okahanja district. Um, we know that because it was painted on the farm of uh, Dr. and Mrs. Bergman. Um, whilst Jentsch was traveling around the country, he would more often than not stay with friends, German expats, and on this particular occasion he was staying with the Bergmans. The Bergmans asked him to paint this very spot because it was special to them for a number of reasons. Not only was it their most beautiful view on their farm, but it was also, they believed then, uh, the source of the Swakop River. Uh, we now know that it is not the exact source of the Swakop River, but certainly um, very, very close to it. Jentsch oils are, of course, very, very rare. Um, he really struggled to part with them, and they all uh, were lost in a fire, uh, very sadly, in a, a, a barn-style shed um, on one of his friend's farms. So it is very rare that we see uh, such a, a large-scale and, and beautiful example by Jentsch. I would also like to mention the frame. Um, Jentsch was, was very deliberate as to how and where his works were framed. Um, whenever he could get his canvases uh, framed, he would do so at, at, at Teschlerei Elma in Windhoek. So also a, a period frame which I suppose adds to the excitement of this picture. Cool.